The humble French press, loved by many people around the world, it can quickly fall out of favor to crisper, cleaner brewing methods. Today, I want to show you a simple step that you can take to upgrade your French press. Let's go have a look. So this French press method that I use is actually quite simple. The process um, is almost exactly the same as brewing a regular French press. There's just one extra step. As part of that extra step, you're going to want um, a mug. Uh, with some hot water in it and um, some extra spoons. The reason for the mug with water is just um, so you can kind of clean off the spoons between steps. Actually it doesn't, I don't think it needs to be hot in this case but it helps I think a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do here, uh, so you need this, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through the regular French press uh, method. Um, I'm going to pause when we get to the brewing time. Um, but for now, and if you'll pardon me a second, I have to smell this. Because the coffee I'm using today is absolutely amazing. It's kind of a secret blend um, of some amazing Ethiopian coffees. Anyways, I'm using uh, the Akaya, so I actually haven't measured this. Um, I'll give you an idea of exactly what the measurements are, because it's going to tell me. So, in we go. The grounds. I'm using 38.3. Pardon me. I'm using 38.3 grams of coffee, and I'm gonna put in 593.6 grams of water. I'm gonna fudge those numbers a little bit, but um, just like a normal French press, in we go. So I'm not fancy with my French press or anything like that. I'm just I'm just gonna hold it for a moment while I finish pouring. And 500 600 ish. Okay. So now this actually would have been a little bit more ideal if I ground more coffee, but my grinder doesn't hold enough to fill this French press. Um so very important now actually, I'm going to give this a quick stir at the beginning. Um, it may or may not be necessary, that's just what I do. And then, if you fill it up to the top, be very careful. I always cover the French press while it's brewing, just um, to cover it. But be very, very careful not to touch the top. And then when the four minutes are up, um, we're not gonna press immediately. So I'm gonna go ahead and brew and then I'll be back. Okie dokie. So we're back now. Um, and now is the time. A lot of a lot of French press methods they would have you stir at this point and then plunge. But here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, if you've done cupping before, this will look similar. Um, and this is kind of where I started with the idea. Of course, other people had already come up with this process, but that's all good. Um, so I always essentially break the crust. I'm just going to push down a little bit. Um, if I wasn't recording, I would be I would be dropping my microphone again. I am going to smell this though, because this coffee is amazing. Okay, now, so you see this part on top here? this foaminess, what we want to do is remove that. So, uh, and this is the reason why it'd be easier if this, if I'd fill this up, because it's going to be a little steep, but essentially we come in here with a couple spoons and just try to remove as much of that as possible. You'll notice, you might notice I am picking up some grounds. That's okay. Um, the main goal here is just to get as much of this stuff as possible. Because um, this stuff is bitter and not terribly delicious. Essentially it's going to stop you from tasting a lot of the coffee. Um, 
Well, not directly, I don't think directly related or correlated, but um, essentially the more bitterness you taste, the less sweetness you're going to perceive. So um, by removing that bitterness at the top there, essentially, we're going to make our French press sweeter. All right, now we press like usual. Just going to scooch this back because um, there's still a little bit there and we want to get the grounds down. Um, you might be able to tell already that it's a little bit crisper, clearer looking. Um, not that much to press left. Well, shout out to uh, Deathwish Coffee. They gave me this mug. I've got one of these tops that has a grill in it. You can see as I'm pouring, it's like still really full body, but it's got a nice color to it. Nice and clear. And that's the uh, French press uh, po polish method, if you will, or um, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, quite uh, pretty much the same as a regular French press method. You just have that one extra step of scooping off the, the top stuff so it doesn't end in your coffee.